us various solutions to cybercrime. The first solution is education. Cybercrime is difficult to prove as it lacks the traditional paper audit trail which requires the knowledge of specialists in computer technology and internet protocols. Hence, we need to educate citizens that if they are going to use the internet, they need to continuously maintain and update the security of their system. We also need to educate corporations and organizations in the best practice of effective security management. For example, some large organizations now have a policy that all systems in their purview must meet strict security guidelines. Automated updates are sent to all computers and servers on the internal network and no new system is allowed online until it confirms to the security policy. Next solution is establishment of programs and IT forums for youth. Since the level of unemployment in the country has contributed significantly to the spate of e-crime, the government should create employments for these youths and set up IT laboratories or forums where these youths could come together and display their skills. This can be used meaningfully towards developing IT at the same time they could be rewarded handsomely for such novelty. Address verification system. Address verification system checks could be used to ensure that the address entered on your order forms matches the address where the card holders billing statement are emailed. IP address tracking. Software that could track the IP address of orders could be designed. This software could then be used to check that the IP address of an order is from the same country included in the billing and the shipping address of the orders. Use of video surveillance systems. Problem with this method is that attention to be paid to human rights issues and legal privileges. Antivirus and anti-spyware software. Antivirus software consists of computer program that attempts to identify and eliminate computer viruses and other malicious software. Anti-spyware are used to restrict backdoor programs, trojans and other spywares to be installed on the computer. Firewalls. A firewall protects a computer network from unauthorized access. Network firewalls may be hardware devices, software programs or a combination of the two. A network firewall typically guards an internal computer network against malicious access from outside the network. Cryptography. Cryptography is a science of encrypting and decrypting information. Encryption is like sending a postal mail to another party with a lock code on the envelope which is known only to the sender and the recipient. A number of cryptographic methods have been developed and some of them are still not cracked. Cyber ethics and cyber legislation laws. Cyber ethics and cyber laws are also being formulated to stop cyber crimes. It is a responsibility of every individual to follow cyber ethics and cyber laws so that the increasing cyber crime will reduce. Security software like antiviruses and anti-spywares should be installed on all computers in order to remain secure from cyber crimes. Internet service providers should also provide high level of security at their servers in order to keep their clients secure from all type of viruses and malicious programs.